but I was released from that and uh, through working with Christian mentors and counselors um, I came to a place where I, I brought this out into the light for the first time and shared um, openly with some brothers and sisters in Christ about the abuse that had happened and the, how angry it had made me and how confused I had been my whole life and uh, you know I wish that and, uh, I wish I could go back in time and, and, and erase some of the mistakes I made because of what was inside of me. But time has passed on and, uh, and Jesus, Jesus released me from that shame. He let me know through a, a good friend and a pastor that that wasn't my fault. That it happened, it was something that happened, and it was over. I need not to carry that shame any longer, and um, and I don't. I don't. I forgive those who who did this, because I figure they, somewhere along the line, something calls them to to be abusive. It, it's a pattern. It's a generational pattern. Many times that the abuser is usually an abused person. And I have to forgive them for that because um, no more than I made it happen, I don't believe they made it happen either. Um, so some time went by and um, as like I said before, I knew I was saved the day of Drayton Manor when I gave my life to Jesus, but God didn't want me to stay in that place. God wants us to also live now in the moment. Um, and he took away the shame of my past from me. Now, I do still wrestle with the consequences of it. Like I, I said, you know, I have two sons that were, that unfortunately caught the, the wrath of the anger. Um, there has not been um, a rebuilding of that bridge yet. I, I pray that God will do that. And, um, I've come to a place where, where God's matured me to the point where now my ministry is part of my ministry is helping people who have suffered the same abuse and the same addictions that I had. I know my journey's not over. Um, I know it's going to be a, a lifetime of, of learning and growing. I just my, my prayer for you would be that if you are where I was, that you don't have to be ashamed. You don't have to carry shame. It's not your fault what happened to you. It's not your fault that someone abused you. It's not your fault that um, as a child you were beaten. You didn't do anything wrong. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. And, but that doesn't have to rule your life anymore. And I, I say to you that you need not be ashamed. Um, and you need not feel guilty that you did something wrong. You just need to understand that God knows everything that's ever happened in your life. He was there. He knows Hiding from from God, I found in my own life, was simply um, putting a border up between me and healing. And I, I just choose not to ever walk in that again. I choose to walk in freedom, and that's what I've found um, in my faith. I found healing, which is continuing. It's a daily, day-to-day -day thing. I found that when I accepted the love that that Jesus offered me. It indeed, um, it freed me up to find true freedom. I often comment that my wife, Kathy, and I'm married to now for, for 15 years, um, I really don't know. I, I, matter of fact, I, I can say this is a true statement. I didn't know how to love her. I had no clue what love was. To me, it was a word that you know I associated with the pornography I used to watch. It was a part of a sexual act. 
I don't I didn't know how to love my I didn't know how to love my first wife. I had no clue. I didn't know how to love my two sons. I didn't know how to love Kathy until Christ came in my life. And he truly showed me what love is. I just hope for you that that you step out in faith and just ask him to help you this day, whatever it is, that you that he loves you so much that he would never have you live under this heavy burden and heavy labor that many of us put ourselves under. And I did it for 30 years, for 30 years of my life. I'm 47. For 30 years of my life, I carried this extreme shame and anger and hostility and unhappiness and all the bad things. And until... Um, until I truly in, embraced the Father's love, I didn't, um, I didn't really know what love was. I had no clue. And I just, um, I, I hope my story in its brief form would help you to understand that today can be a new beginning for you. It can be a new start. It can be the beginning of a, of a lifetime of joy, which is how we're supposed to live. We're supposed to enjoy life, and um, that is my prayer for you.